am excited because um, it's always special and it's different because we're used to reading for this. It's it's hard to imagine how big of a difference it is to have those who are connected to the solar return, solar yeah. beings, and those connected to the lunar return, the lunar beings. It, it's just, it's a huge difference. It's just a huge difference. As we were squeeing over reflectors, they are only 1% of the world's entire population. And that's why I was like, ah when I do see one. Um, their strategy is usually, you know, wait for the lunar cycle. But another way to do it is to wait to be included and invited into a group thing. And their themes are surprise and disappointment. Mm -hmm. Do you have uh, anything to add? Real quick, how the surprise and point, uh, disappointment move into this. The waiting for the lunar cycle is this like the is a primary um a strategy that they have uh however that takes that takes 28 and a half days 29 days so with that being the case there's all kinds of stuff that goes on in the interim so far with every type we've been talking about a feeling a chemistry you have right it feels good doesn't feel good i mean that holds true for all people whether you have a spleen defined or not whether you're a generator manifestor it doesn't matter the type um projector doesn't matter this weight to be in, feel included is they'll notice the sensation. It's a sensation they know of as surprise, and it's a delightful surprise. So the surprise <laughs> is 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 deeply, sometimes deeply surprised. It it feels so good down to the core, and it is like a surprise. It's like oh oh, oh me, um, or not just me. They totally can know me. How about I was I I couldn't believe it. It's just a sense of. Uh, it's a sense of a delightful surprise, feels good surprise, as opposed to the disappointment on the other side, which is just like all of our things. The disappointment is just as much burning in on us, a thing that then plagues us, as would be my frustration, your anger, and the bitterness of a, of a projector. So that's how these two things are differentiating. They come as a chemistry and, and will show how they can measure with it measure with it reliably day in and day out while they're witnessing their lunar cycle because that tells them everything because they're going to live that out every month month after month after month <laughs> excellent so we are going to explain where they get their lovely name uh it's because their auras are reflective um so i was doing some homework listening to um some lectures on reflectors and <laughs> Funniest way to describe it was like Teflon. <laughs> it's like, oh, okay. Well, read the aura to the right. Read the aura to the right. It all goes together. Oh yeah, exactly. Yep. It all goes together. So it it just kind of slides right off you, like Teflon. And I'm like, Teflon. that is a genius Resist way. And sampling. Resi it resists and samples. So it's taking a bite. So what I notice is, uh, I've heard this every time I've seen a pair where the missus was a reflector she always was able to report yeah my husband sort of stands in front a little bit with new things something's coming at us and for whatever reason that thing that comes at us sort of leans in on my husband first you know what i mean because it knows their aura knows i'm holding back but i'm sampling like a kitty cat like, like a kitty cat. cat with that that like just holds back but whatever touches it with a paw little paw touch that's all it'll do just and it just tastes yeah it. yeah and so and it's, it's sam decide. yeah and sampling. that sampling they can feel they can feel it but at the same time it's it's a resistance and they're waiting to slip in between that slipstream between there's a balance where they come together and there's a, in between where they finally meet people are allowed in uh, less resistance than sampling the sampling leads to allowing in and then and it continues the resisting and the sampling continues so uh -huh. a husband or a, a partner of a of a reflector should be able to say oh i i see i noticed that i noticed that because it carries on even in the relationship uh, i mean it's the you know their aura is like a separate entity onto totally yourself, separate entity right? and it's, it's waiting to reflect it exactly you can't so manifestors and reflectors have more in common with each other than they do with any of the other types because they're waiting to let in 
or not and they are able to resist or not and um resist the other aura and so what but what these what you guys end up doing is checking out your impact um over time and you know and these guys and um reflectors end up reflecting back the health of things mm -hmm. mostly for humanity they're reflecting back you guys are on track you guys aren't on track and it's not like they have all the words for that it's their health their general way if, so if you go into a town and everyone has their name tags on, I'm a reflector and they're all just happy, you're in a good place. You're in a good, you're in a healthy human place. You know, and children would be the coolest ones to just notice that in. They're, you know, you got to give them first choice of a room. We don't know. Open G Center. Guaranteed they don't know. You got to give them first choice of lots of things. So um, that's a lot. There was um, another fine example i heard uh from the lectures is look at reflectors like canaries mm. so the canaries that are brought down into the mines they're the first ones to notice oh something's up and it gives the miners enough time right. to right. get out they'll be your well it's, i don't want to say lifeguard <laughs> so i guess it's partly, kind of, it's well, partly a lifeguard because they're totally capable they can jump in the water and save your ass they're yeah not, in that way they did they diverge from the canary because they're not just stuck being in a you know yeah they're they're, they, they're not helpless they're they're able all. to actually do the thing but it, in the in the signpost that was another really good example signpost, like, yes signpost yeah. is like this way this is how it's going mm -hmm. um and yeah that's it's um what which leads us to, which doesn't really, but I'm going to slide us into our disappointment. Well, <laughs> yeah, well, the you. disappointment comes with it, but just think about that disappointment and the surprise and all of that and everything we've mentioned so far. Without our nuanced awareness of the reflector, they can't do their job. And so their level of disappointment will always go up from that, generally speaking, unless they're in the right place. So would you say, because again, I heard this, you can correct me if I'm wrong, it was like disappointment is their um, neutral almost, and something has to bring it out of disappointment. Like that's why environment is so important for a reflector, because that's their baseline. Well, it's, like, it's, oh, that's depressing. <laughs> in a not well, in a not self world, what they're describing is the hangover of this old way, the seven centered not self old way world and absolutely mm -hmm. that would be a thing that uh, you could say to many reflectors easily and have them recognize oh yeah i'm always sort of crawling up from that but that's not who they are who they are is the town i described where the reflectors are generally pleasantly surprised with stuff and following that lunar cycle and letting it do the things it does to it that's mm -hmm. a healthy that's a healthy community tell a cool story a cool story of how on particular months where things were going on, if she remembers any days, the various mm -hmm. powers she was getting as the moon would give her defined channels and centers and so forth, because mm -hmm. it, it gives them all. Right. Um, and she yeah. had no idea and probably still really doesn't understand what it's what it means to be a reflector. Like she was like, what? Only one percent? I'm like, yes, you have no idea what a gem you are. But um, she feels like a uh, fish out of water. Uh, many different life events happened to her uh, that kind of put her in this like state of disappointment. Watch the recording of the stream. So oh, good. I hope so. Yeah. Um, like, what, what was, read, read this next one off under not self theme. The overwhelm, right? So trying to fix the things that are being observed. And, you know, just because you can see the patterns doesn't mean you're supposed to be the one to do it all but that's hard for any person especially a person who, who can see it um and then they not only see it they take it in and it's amplified in the manifester in the in the manifester thing that is so common to the reflector they can manifest and do on the things they see when they're a manifester as the moon makes them a manifester Oh. And they can and they can understand what that is like, so that their muscle memory, so to speak, their chemistry memory, just like muscle memory from playing tennis or something, starts to start to recognize. Oh, sometimes I am this, and then in certain survival moments, it can come out, even when it's not being um, 
even when it's not being uh, lit up and defined by the moon because that stuff is there yeah. but in regular life they can sometimes they're because sometimes they're a manifester sometimes they're a generator that's um, that's incredible um think about this too um uh, this is why they and one of the things that reflects back for them that whole thing identifying um that you got written up there some can lead to this um exhaustion and this disappointment and this overwhelm mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. but um identifying too much so they have to watch out for that but if you look at a reflector chart all month long most reflectors spend most of the month not being a reflector oh think about that or the good portion actually never mind most of the month they, they all spend a portion of the month not being a reflector and mostly because well, there's always lots of gates floating around it's more than not ha that is very interesting did not know yeah. that at all they're um, in the perfect place to reflect back the health of the gen the dumb generators and freaking crazy ass <laughs> neurotic projectors the, the freaking angry freaking torpedo manifestors you know <laughs> Uh, and then the whole emotional I mean, world and then the emotional world on top of it because they spend half their time emotional -ish. right uh, i mean uh, in order to be able to identify all these things not half, right? that's wrong not half not half their time emotional but they spend time emotional most of them will right yeah. you, you know you need to have a relationship with the moon which again to most non-spiritual people yeah that sounds weird sound right sound incredibly like you sound crazy like what except to the mean? reflector even the non-spiritual one i bet i i don't know i hope i always hope that so don't count yeah that. so i mean like so when i told my reflector friend that she's a reflector i dare not mention that oh my god you're a moon child <laughs> because she think i'm wacky so i just left that right. information out Right. like yeah you're rare but what makes you so unique is you need to understand that you, you you're very changeable and you need to have a deep relationship with the moon and you know your decisions should wait 28 days like the big ones right like yeah. where you live who you live with where you work who you work with i mean we live in a world where you know you're expected to give your answer fast so sure. what's the answer don't you know all that kind of stuff yeah right it's like what do you mean give me a month like it's 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 not the world isn't really kind yeah, so the thing is, to that kind of certain, waiting certain stuff that goes on they don't need their month at all they mm -hmm. just need to have a juxtaposition between the definition they were eight you know 10 to 12 hours earlier and the definition they are now mm -hmm. And sometimes they don't even need that. That's the thing. They've got all these different ways that things happen. We can never explain them all um, as it relates to any kind of, you know, reading or class like this. Um, mm -hmm. So we just have to get them started so they can start to see it. Um, right. Because it's, it's part of the science of the human design system is it is empirical. It's empirical data gathered, captured then as true, but only by the individual. Uh. And so that's why you and I, human design, come together and we get it we know but and our knowing is profound we know um mm -hmm. and then we can sit there and place bets on all the other humans that we're watching looking at their charts so oh, this one's going to do that look this one's you know because we know mm -hmm. and type thing and so they have to they don't even need to know why they're looking at the moon and tracking it and sort of just finding when do they normally gravitate towards it or just whatever it is becoming mm -hmm. a relationship with it they don't even need to know why if they just start certain things will they come just through. start yeah uh, and another you know very important thing is just to talk to others and listen and get feedback that way so you know I it'll say, always be that yes mm -hmm. yes i wouldn't say you know ignore the moon completely and just do that but for things that maybe you can't wait a whole 28 days that's you know a nice backup that you could consider right right exactly you'll know if it just well that disappointment and that surprise um as you're making a decision there's surprising how good it feels oh it's surprising you're gathering support oh it's surprising it's i guess i'm doing it. i'm surprised i'm even doing it this is good <laughs> right and, and this oh i dread this is it's, i'm disappointed i wanted it to go different i'm disappointed i wanted to go i feel this lack of at ease i'm just it doesn't feel any good um that's disappointing, you know, um, 
three-year-old version of that is, you know, I can't, whatever, I, I didn't get the Christmas present I wanted um, type thing. So, yeah. I kind of touched on this earlier, right? Like being in a 28-day cycle is not easy, right? You know, everyone else is like, go, go, go. And, you know, reflectors have to kind of make peace with, you know, they're going to be going at a more slower simmer instead of a more, you know, rushed, consistent, constantly keeping up pace. That's not what they're here for, especially if, you know, they have inconsistent energy. So some days they're going to feel like generators, like you mentioned, and other days they're going to feel like a projector. <laughs> so <laughs> you're, mm -hmm. you have to, you know, surrender that's a good word oh, surrender right. to the planetary bodies that are right. affecting your your energy levels your mood right and then there's also the fact that you know they're they're just absorbing people i guess they resist but it does seep in and that can lead to overwhelm yeah absolutely um absorbing we need to get to that keynote. Is that in here somewhere? I just said absorbing, uh, but yeah, the... I don't know if it's in here somewhere because that absorbing is a part of this whole aura thing. Mm -hmm. It's absorbing the information on itself while it's sampling and resisting to the outside world, but the outside world notices the absorbing too. It's just very complicated. You, you know, you reflectors, we need you so bad that 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 sort of complicatedness has everything to do with all the stuff you're measuring to help save us technically um uh, so we'll do, we'll do the work we'll do the work we'll, <laughs> i volunteer we'll, we'll right. do the, i'll do the work <laughs> you just let us know which way <laughs> just sort of sort of be part of it so we can see which way through right you. um yeah. so you know their environment is and their community is incredibly important Mm -hmm. right where they are yeah. affects them more than any other type so finding one that is aligned and makes them feel alive is at utmost environment so like the friend i told you about where she feels like a fish out of water that's not ideal for her she knows her happy place and her being a reflector it's like very important that she be in her happy place more than not um mm -hmm. And not yep. live in disappointment land, <laughs> right. is where right. you know she tends to right. live, unfortunately. Um, right. And here's the funny thing: so when I was listening uh, to the lectures, one of the things that was mentioned is that reflectors are impersonal, right? So when they you know look at any person in their life, you know their significant other, their parents. Well, you know, best friend, whatever. It's it. They don't look at it as like my best friend or my husband. It's like you're an aspect of that role, so they can come off as someone who is not deeply connected to other people, and you know, people might sense that and feel icky. So there's just something to be aware of. It's not anything you're doing. It's just your design. Right. That's true. Right. What, what else do we have on here? You can take a look, but I pretty much covered everything. <laughs> and that's I think so too. Slide. We sort of went over strategy. Um, mm -hmm. the close, these close, you know, right, yeah, don't, no rushing into big decisions. Pretend you're always emotional. Not that you know what that means, but no mm -hmm. rushing into big decisions. Sleep on it. And, and part of this thing is asking trusted folks. That's why this community is so important. And, and ask, asking trusted folks. Think about it. Open head, open option. You got to run stuff through. Think about mm -hmm. it. Open G center. Not sure. You get into the G. You get if you get into the aura of others, they'll define your G center and help you with your love and direction of where you would like to be, and they're going to sense it. There's no being on the world with a defined G center that doesn't want to help the undefined G center find their way. If you if you took a camera, this is important for them to know. Actually, this 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 one mechanic. If you took a camera and set it above a, a busy doorway or a busy thing, most of the door openings and most of the oh go over here's and most of the people pointing to somebody. When I say most of them, if you were doing a disproportional amount, will be to the people with the open G center. 
because the divine Jesus said, we're human, we're nine centered, we're here to commune, we want, our, we want our love and affection to be felt, and we want to give it, we want it received, so you're lost, honey, dude, no, you go, go over here, hang on, let me go out to your car, and I'll show you, I'll point, it just will happen more often, more energy will leave the defined G-centered being to go help the undefined find its way, it's amazing. Mm -hmm. There was one thing I, I uh, forgot yeah. to mention that I was like, this is a genius. Is the whole 28-day waiting thing. 29 and a half, by the way. 29 and <laughs> a half. Yep. I have to correct my slides. <laughs> waiting okay. thing. Uh, it's, so the, I, it is kind of similar to riding at an emotional wave, but way more complex, where through all the transits that are going on through those days it's it's like taking a snapshot and it's like okay this is what it's like here this is what it's like here and then finding the right one like a radar is what that's why is. the 28 and a half days every 28 and a half days becomes a reliable style of an emotional decision clarity making process mm -hmm in a way so you guys can at least count on it the actual emotional people they got no idea the wave is my choice no it is not you know <laughs> so you just wait wait the, and it'll show up it'll be like yeah this is right or no it is not it's just the patience piece right waiting yes. out that, that time it's instead total of total patience slow down you've all been manifester and generator conditioned manifester move fast Gen generator don't wait to respond generator try to be a manifester and manifester move fast you've all been generated conditioned it's it's we're sorry by the way um <laughs> go the this block down in the corner is awesome i love this these most important decisions in life uh where they live who they live with you know where they work you know who they work with where do they go on a daily basis all of these things i don't want to go there i don't want to live there i don't want to be with them any of that stuff comes up that's true that's true and and you'll notice you've ignored it enough times and paid predictable little consequences so i love this little block this whole where who with who where why is a good one too why am i why am i am i happy with why i'm doing this it's like this isn't a good why for me all that stuff all the right. four w's plus a an h you plus know? an h right plus excellent an h, yeah. so how can we get uh, reflectors to master their design? So, like we already mentioned, it's their, they're the, the health checkers of their environment, of the communities that they're a part of. They're the ones that let us know when things are not working out. Um, that's, that's the whole aura. That's what it's doing. Um, and the interesting bit is because they're they're automatically doing this even without trying it is very easy to identify with pieces of the things you've picked up so to kind of discern oh that is definitely not me that's something i reflected and you know sampled from a different aura yeah. and seeing uh the patterns and then being able to know how to convey that it's like oh you know i'm seeing this thing play out over and over again let's you know not go down this path right so that's their superpower is to be able to notice that kind of thing and because you are being so many different people throughout your lifetime it's it's hard to stey unbiased <laughs> and impersonal to all the things but until you do it and see it until you, until do, you it do it and see it, it. See it. And then all of a sudden it's like, oh, it's easier to stay unbiased. I still love you. I'm just not as biased as I used to be, mm -hmm. you know, whatever. And now you, who I thought I hated, I, I just I just think you're, you know, a little bit of a twit, but I don't really like you much. But you know what I mean? Everything dials back down. And yet the passion and the love doesn't go anywhere. It's mm -hmm. less bias. And if your partner, if you have a partner and that starts to rub them the wrong way a little bit, that's no good you can tell them and if they start to see how hey it's actually pretty cool now you guys are awake and in love with each other rather than just you know practicing or trying or whatever you know wondering um uh, but, this uh, role yeah yeah this, here to uh, be the oh, wisest and the most yeah. objective of us all that's Okay, the why is unicorns? That's uh, loaded. That's a loaded statement. This is a little bit fortune cookie statement, although it is true. Um, <laughs> there is truth to it. 
No, it, it is. But the thing is, all of us are have the same potential for the wisest, most objectiveness mm -hmm. in any given time. It's all there in us. These folks are reflecting it back. So they have it as an honorary position regardless. Mm. Even when they're messing it up because they're not themselves, you know what I mean, or whatever. Even when they're not being themselves, shall I say. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. So we mentioned community a lot, but yes, part of the community is where they are most, you know, feeling valued. It's like, yes, you know, people are listening to what I have to say and I'm able to help the community be their best. And again, they know when it's functioning properly and when it's not. Um, now, their special traits, uh, when you saw the chart before, you kind of saw that they have no activated centers in their body whatsoever. So when you first look at their body graph, it's all white. Um, and because of that, they're able to kind of act like mirrors and just give back the energy that you put out. So um, it also, another way they're reflecting it back is through the transits, either planets, the lunar cycle, and their aura, because they're so open, is trying to protect them. That's why they resist and sample, because if they didn't, they'd be absorbing everything. and It would be very mm. overwhelming. <laughs> And they're like, well, they, it is very overwhelming because they are absorbing everything. They are absorbing everything. Yes. I mean, if they didn't have that aura as a thing on top of their body, it'd be that just helps protect them from the other. They're still absorbing it all. That's yeah. the thing. So some of it can seem like a horror show at times. Yep. Yeah. We're incredible creatures, like, man. Yeah. Absolutely. And like little chameleons, right? Plopping them in different places, they'll seem like different people. And that's one of their charms.